What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. It's Rock Bottom Uncle, and of course, I am here with some more Hidden Fates. I know, I know, it's a drag. I keep opening them, but they're in stock. I keep getting my hands on them, and I just can't get enough. So we're still out looking for some really great cards. Not expecting to hit the Charizard at any point, but the full art shinies have been amazing. The other hollow shinies are great, so I just wanted to keep grabbing these. I grabbed a few more. These are from Target. I pulled one of each um, that I ordered. So we got the Raichu, Gyarados, and Charizard. So I'm just going to crack these open. Four packs in each one. I'm just going to pull them off screen for a second while I break into it. If you guys have not seen my other videos or are not super aware of Hidden Fates, which I assume that you are, you get a promo card, which it just dropped. You get the code card for the tin. So there's the Raichu GX promo. And you get four packs. You can see four packs, usually all four different arts. In this case, again, all four. Mewtwo, Mew, the birds, and shiny Charizard. And then you get this nice empty tin with this plastic insert. So nothing super exciting there. Um, but we'll crack these open and let's do a little bit of a challenge. I know we do this sometimes. Um, we'll do Raichu versus Gyarados versus Charizard and let's see who comes out on top. So let me crack open these other two tins real quick. Got the Gyarados GX promo. There's that one. Seemed to be in much better shape than uh, the last box I opened, which was like bent in half. We got the four packs again, all four arts, different order this time. Actually, the complete reverse order. Very interesting. Could that be a sign of something fancy going on? Put this tin away, and then last tin. I, didn't, I don't always want to open these on screen just because it takes time and I know you guys are busy, but it does show that I'm kind of so, here you go, it's bent, but not too bad. A little bit of a, a bend there, you can kind of see it a little bit, but there's the Charizard GX, throw that up there and we've got code card. Um, I didn't want to open these off screen so you guys can see that I'm actually legitimately opening them here and this completely different order. So all four again, but all different orders. So kind of interesting that the three tins come in different orders. Um, so we had from left to right, Raichu, Gyarados, Charizard. I think we're gonna do some more videos where I do like a three Charizard, three Char Gyarados or whatever. I mean, keeping it to threes, 12 packs seems like a good number for a video. Um, also, it's kind of fun to do all three against each other, but maybe if I do like all Gyarados or all something, I could, I could do a different number. But since there's three, I've been just doing it in threes. Um, so let's go. I'm gonna start with Raichu on the left and we're gonna work each column and see where we get. So here we go. You guys know, I'm sure you are very familiar at this point with Hidden Fates. There are kind of two sets. You have the Hidden Fates regular set and then you have the Shiny Vault as they refer to it. And that is where all these, you know, full art shinies and these other sh shiny hollows are coming from. So, really cool. We got a Metapod, Pokemon Center Lady, Scyther, Clefairy, Jigglypuff, Caterpie, Pettis, Sayai. And there we go, right off the bat, pack one from Raichu, Ho-Oh, GX, full art shiny. Our rare, Kangaskhan, non-holographic, but big hit first card. I think this one is is not the most uncommon of the full art shinies, but Ho is a, you know one of the legendary birds um, from the I think the black and white series, but really great card. Another one that I have not pulled, so I'm going to throw this over on the left, and let's keep cracking into these Raichu packs, but that's going to be tough to beat, I think. Going to be tough. So like I said, most of the... Um, the other tins that I've opened so far have come from GameStop. There was a few from Best Buy that I was able to grab. They're starting to pop up in all the different stores. These, however, came from Target. They just came in stock. Uh, they were much later to the party than everyone else, but I was able to grab some. Still retailing $19.99, um, but I think it's a good deal. It's a little bit more expensive per pack, but you get the tin, which I don't use, but um, there we go, Charmander. Shiny, this is, I think, the most sought after shiny card. So, centering 
looks perfect, absolutely perfect on this. Um, and when I say the most sought after, a little bit left to right on the back, but I think the back, they give you a little bit more leeway. And you got a Jesse and James hollow, so you can get two hits, which is always nice. Um, what I was saying the most sought after, I think from the shiny vault, these, the more pre-evolution, not pre-evolution, but the earlier evolution of these um, Pokemon are, you know, they range from one to four or five dollars, but Charmander seems to be, from what I've seen, um, the most expensive. So amazing hit. That's two really, really big hits in the Raichu tin. So that's really crazy. Uh, and going back to what I was saying about Target versus Best Buy versus, you know, all this different stores, I'm assuming they're coming from the same kind of stock, but it'd be interesting to see how um, the stores against each other do. I know we've done GameStop versus Walmart with the GX box, um, but this is the first time we've opened from Target. So here we go. Magmar, Charmeleon, Graveler, Charmander, Magikarp, Slowpoke, Clefairy, Coughing, a shiny water energy, and a Bills Analysis non-holographic. I actually really like these. Um, I think I've gotten all of them now. I don't consider it a hit or anything, but they're just really cool. So I'm going to stick it over here on the left just to have it to the side. Last pack of the Raichu tin. It's been epic so far. Let's see if we have some last pack magic here. Not expecting anything crazy, but um, we've hit two great hits. But that's the fun thing about Hidden Fates. There's a whole, you can always get double hits and you can pull some really crazy stuff. So here we go, Pokemon Center Lady, Sabrina's Suggestion, Misty's Determination, Psyduck, Magikarp, Staryu, Slowpoke, Voltorb, Reverse Cubone, and a non hollow Erica's Hospitality. So Raichu coming in really, really strong with the Charmander Shiny Vault and the Full Art Ho-Oh GX. Let's see how Giardos does. In comparison I really got to stop ordering these I love hidden faith so much I'm not even out like trying to find the Charizard although in a PSA 10 it's selling for almost a thousand dollars now even ungraded it's like four or five hundred it started when I started opening these cards at like two so it's gone crazy in value would be amazing to pull one but I haven't really been opening these just searching for it I'm just having a great time opening these packs Koga strap Brock's Pewter City Gym, Lieutenant Surge's Strategy, Caterpie, Eevee, Ekans, Charmander, Psyduck. There we go. Shiny Beldum. And a non hollow Electrode. Let's check out the Beldum. Centering again. Top to bottom a little bit off on this one compared to the Charmander. But the back looks pretty clean. So another great hit. Let me pull out a couple sleeves. Seems like we're going to need them tonight. So... Pack number one coming in again. I'm going to stick it over here just for the moment. Let's go to pack number two. Uh, I think I was, I lost my train of thought, but I was saying, I'm not really searching for the Charizard, but it's been such an epic card to find. I have not pulled it yet. It would be absolutely amazing to pull it. But um, these Hidden Fates packs have just been so much fun opening. And that's kind of what got me back into doing well not even getting back into it, getting into the streaming and, and opening some packs and just having some fun so it's been really cool jinx coughing star you ekans caterpie paris reverse scyther and a hollow jesse and james that's the second one of those we've pulled all right so far raichu in the lead let's see if giardos pulls through on pack number three And starting off Fire Energy, Misty Cerulean City Gym, Chansey, Giovanni's Exile. Every time I see Chansey, I think about the, uh, not just Chansey saying Chansey, but um, the Mortal Kombat oh, dee -dee! Uh, from back in the day. So pretty funny. Clefairy, Jigglypuff, Reverse Mr. Mime, that's a rare, and a Jolteon non-holographic. Not too bad on that one. All right, last pack for Giardos. Can he come through? He's going to need at least at least a full art shiny to jump the lead right here. So let's see what he does. Can he, does he have it in him? Does our friend Magikarp evolving into Giardos bring us home the bacon? 
We got Fairy Energy, Pokemon Center Lady, Metapod, Misty's Gym, Voltorb, Cubone, Geodude, Eevee, Jigglypuff, Reverse Slowpoke, and a Gyarados GX. Standard GX set, but a Giar Gyarados GX coming out of the Gyarados set. So pretty funny there. Um, this is part of the regular set. You saw it was in the rare slot, so this is part of like the regular Hidden Fates. Um, not quite the shiny vault, like the ho -Oh, but very nice pulls. Two pulls out of four packs, not bad at all. I was going to say, let me move the Beldum. It seems like it's getting quite a glare. Um, going to jump into the Charizard pack, packs next, of course. Um, what I was saying before is I thought Charmander was one of the most sought after or the most expensive of the shinies it seems like eevee is, is really it and i have not pulled an eevee yet so it makes a lot of sense i think scyther is creeping up there as well and the scyther full art or the sizer full art is so sick um really nice like with that green like the the mewtwo which is also really cool uh i think i just screwed this up because i'm pretty sure i did four and have a graveler in front which is strange so i don't know what i did but I'm just going to flip it over because I don't have, I don't know. I, I don't know where the energy card is, but let's go. Graveler, Brock's Grit, Misty Cerulean, Gym, Cerulean City Gym, Chansey, Coughing, Clefairy, Staryu, Jigglypuff, Ekans. That, that's where that normally goes in Blaine's Last Stand. So this can come in the shiny slot. So did this have... 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So instead of a, an energy, because this doesn't come in the first slot, it comes in the second, or in the shiny slot, for some reason, instead of an energy, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 common and 4 uncommon. So that was actually an error pack. Not a great error by any means, but an error pack nonetheless. Because usually there's 3 uncommons. I think it's usually three uncommons. Let's check this pack. Maybe I'm just going crazy. One, two, three, four. Okay. This should be an energy. It's not. So we have an error. We have an error tin right here. <laughs> I don't know why, but no energy card in front. We only have uh, uncommons. So four uncommons. Brock's Grit, Lieutenant Surge's Strategy, Pokemon Center Lady, Sabrina's Suggestion, Voltorb, Pikachu, Jigglypuff, Ekans, Coughing, Azorua, Hollow, from the Shiny Vault, and Erica's Hospitality. So, yeah, really weird error. Um, not a bad one, because I definitely don't need any more energies, but Azorua's centering looks great. Um, really, really nice. I've pulled this quite a few times now, but really, really nice. Um, yeah, so we have an error tin. This Charizard tin is an error tin. That sounds like a place or a person, Ayrton. Like, oh, I'm going to go to Ayrton for the weekend. But anyway, really strange. Um, I know you guys are going to hate me when I put Ayrton in the title, but you know I'm going to do it. Again, four uncommons. Very, very cool. Scyther, Jinx, Graveler, Farfetch'd, Charmander, Slowpoke, Sai, Pikachu, Magikarp, Reverse Scyther, and a Misty's Water Command is our rare hollow. Really weird. It would be really cool if this was so weird that it gave us a really great hit in one of them, but so far we've just been getting pretty much straightforward pulls. The Zoro was nice, but Charizard needs to really pull through right now to give us the win. It looks like Raichu. It's so winning right now. Let me know in the comments what you think. Will this pack right here, this error tin, give us or give Charizard the win? Or will Raichu stick it out with Ho-Oh and Charmander? Let's see. Magmar, Brock's Grit, Koga's Trap, Misty's Gym, Charmander, Clefairy, Sayai, Magikarp, Staryu, Reverse Mr. Mime, and a Wigglytuff GX. So... Let me sleeve this up that Mr. Mime is a rare like we pulled earlier, so not bad with a double rare and extra uncommon. But we've got Wigglytuff. Let me pull this back a little bit. Wigglytuff and Zoroa. We got Beldum. 
in Gyarados or Ho-Oh and Charmander? I'm going to say based on value and rarity, Ho-Oh and Charmander by a long shot. But if you guys have another opinion, put it in the comments. Let me know what you think. I hope you like this video. My name is Rock Bottom Uncle. Please hit that subscribe button. The notification bell will tell you when I load videos, which is 11 a.m. Central Time every day. And hit that like button. Why not? Doesn't do anything. Doesn't hurt anybody. Just click it. Real simple. Just one extra click. Just click that little thumbs up. We'll see you next time. Thanks so much for coming by. See you.